Hello everyone, in this video I'll be explaining rear diffusers used in automotive applications. Now, diffusers are based on the Venturi effect, which says that as pressure, if you restrict fluid flow, pressure will drop and velocity of that fluid will increase. Now you can think of this, uh, say you go to a fast food restaurant and you get a soda and it comes in a styrofoam cup. Well take that styrofoam cup, pour out the drink or drink it, whatever, and use your straw and poke a hole in the bottom. Now if you put that uh, cup up to your mouth and you blow into the cup and seal it using your face, then the fluid flow will increase in the straw and the pressure will increase inside the cup. So if you put it up against your face and blow in, you'll notice the air moves quickly out of the straw and inside of that cup the pressure is going to be increased. Well this is the Venturi effect. So a diffuser basically does the opposite. So you've got uh, high pressure or low pressure, high velocity air moving through a constricted area, and then you give that uh, constricted area an expansion chamber to let that fluid to expand into. Of course, the fluid here just being air. So you've got once again, you've got a low pressure, high velocity air coming in. Well, as it moves across into this expansion chamber, your pressure is going to go up and your velocity is going to go down. It's going to have more space to fill, so it's going to come out fast, have all this space, and then just kind of slow out and uh, increase in pressure. So, how does this help with a car? Well, here we've got the side view of a Formula One car, and it does not have tires. That's to make it easier to visualize. So at the back, we've got the diffuser. So we're going to go based on this same principle right here. So we've got very low pressure, very high speed air moving underneath the car because the car is moving at a very fast pace. Behind the car you've got your diffuser and so you're going to allow the air's pressure to increase and allow its velocity to decrease. So the greater the distance between uh, the greater the area of this expansion chamber, think of it just like this, the greater pressure difference you're going to have between the pressure right here and the pressure right here. So when we're looking at this uh, Venturi effect and we've got this uh, low, low velocity, high pressure air coming in, you can notice that there's going to be a pressure drop. So basically this is just a little diagram showing what happens. So you've got high pressure in here and you've got low pressure in here. And if you've got a fluid here, then as the pressure in here is, is greater than the pressure over here, it's going to push that fluid down and it's going to suck the fluid up right here. So you can see the pressure drop right there. Now, the same thing is happening here, but it's just kind of the opposite. So you've got a very low pressure here, you've got a vacuum basically pulling the car to the road. And over here, you've got a higher pressure area. So the greater you can create, uh, the greater you can expand this uh, high velocity, low pressure air, then the greater pressure differential you can create and the greater vacuum you can create. Now if you have a greater vacuum on this car underneath it, you're going to have more downforce. So this height is regulated in Formula One so that you can't just create an obscene amount of downforce. You make it a little bit safer for the drivers doing that because they're not going to be going around corners quite as fast as they could be. Now, if you look at a diffuser from the rear, and I'm going to show some pictures, so if, if you don't get quite what it looks like, I will show some photos and that will help. But uh, if you're looking at the diffuser from the rear of the car, you'll notice these little dividers here. And what those dividers are for is to keep the air moving in a linear fashion. You don't want to let it be turbulent and swirl around. You're going to lose the effects that you're gaining. So you want to reduce the turbulent air, and you do that by putting in these dividers to keep the air flowing smoothly. So once again, the basic idea is minimize the pressure underneath the car and increase the pressure as much as possible at the rear. So it will allow that air to create a vacuum. So the diffuser is literally sucking all of this air out. It's just pulling it all out. And by doing that, greatly drops the pressure underneath the car. Now the pressure on top of the car will be atmospheric or perhaps above atmospheric because of course you've got spoilers and wings and things like that uh, pressing down. And so with a great pressure on top and a very small pressure below, you're going to pull that car down uh, with a great amount of force. So that's the basic idea of a diffuser 
Uh, now I'll just show a few photos. So here we have the rear diffuser of a Ferrari 599XX. This photo was taken at the Galleria Ferrari in Marinello. And you can see those dividers uh, down at the bottom for them, keeping the air linear. And you can see that the distance from the very back of the car obviously is, is a big gap from the ground, so that's that large expansion chamber. And here you can see the diffuser of a Ferrari Enzo. So it's a little bit different style, but once again, it still has those dividers uh, to keep the air moving linearly. And uh, also you can notice the large gap between the very back of the diffuser and the ground, so a large expansion chamber.